Hello and welcome back to another episode of Uranium Cranium. Last episode we ended off just just over there and and I feel silly for this but there's a desert right there. Um <laughs> if I'd gone on for like a minute longer I would have seen this desert and it would have been a great end to a video. But hey it's it's a good beginning to a video. Ooh, that was a little bit of a lag. It took me a while to take that damage. Um so yes, yeah, this is cactus. That was beautiful cactus. I think I'm just gonna follow this desert along and hope to find a mesa biome, because or acacia. You know, if I find them acacia trees, I'd be happy. But I won't keep following this until I find mesa, because mesa is happy. Let's get all this cactus. This is exactly what I was wanting last episode. This is all I've been needing. Look at the sand. I could just dig for days or dig for six days at least anyway but this is fantastic I, I just want to collect it all I mean I don't really need to collect much cactus because I can just make a very simple cactus farm but I just want, I just want to collect it you know it, just, it makes me so happy to see it <gasps> and there's acacia trees I love acacia trees oh and I, th I think last episode I was talking about these sand caves how they've only recently added these sand caves and how they make the desert a lot more interesting I'm sure you can see why, because things like this, this, whoa, this never used to exist. Deserts used to be kind of hilly nothingness. None of these caves or anything like that. They're very boring, but now, now they're interesting. Oh, look, cow rabbits, and oh, this is beautiful. Let's get some acacia trees. This is a happy time for me. Uh, I think the only kind of tree I need now is a jungle tree, I believe. Yeah, I think that's about right. Just need a jungle tree. Um, I think jungles and forests are like side by side. I'm not too sure, but I wouldn't be surprised. It kind of sounds about right. Jungle, forest, you know. I don't know. I, I think I should be able to find a jungle, no problem. They I don't know. Back back before smart biomes, I used to always find those deserts. But you know, biomes weren't smart, so they're just you know, just a happenstance. Ah, uh, let's see. Any more saplings? I just want to get at least two saplings, then I'll continue on my way. Hello, saplings. Ah, okay. So I'm just gonna run along here, uh, just just for a bit. If I don't find anything interesting, I might just cut until I find something interesting, or until I give up, I guess. Um, but look at this river. I know better than to trust rivers. Um, but yes, this is nice. Some cows, lots of acacia trees. I love the acacia biomes. What are they called? I forget what they're called. They're called uh savanna. That's what it's called. Well, I'm glad I could work it out. Yeah, so the last episode was nothing but running, so that's why I'm wanting to cut this up. Well, I haven't found anything yet, so I think I'm going to do the old jump cut. Um, if I find a mesa biome or any interesting terrain, really, I'm going to jump to then. And, yeah. But man, I've got cactus finally! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, depending on your interest, on your definition, this may count as interesting terrain. I'm not sure. I'd say it's a... F did I see that movie? It's a pig. It's a flower, but it's only the top half of a flower. Let's, let's disturb it. Boop. And it's gone. Well, I'm glad I killed that natural wonder. Anyway, continuing on. Well, I've been exploring for a little while, guys, and I have not found anything but this biome. Don't run over the doggy, there's lava. But I did find a dog. It took all eight of my bones. There were two dogs, but shut up. But I only had enough bones for this one because this one was very greedy. It took all eight bones, but yeah, I, th I thought this looks kind of yeah. You kill them. I thought this looks pretty gosh darn interesting. I mean, look at it, doggy. I'm worried about you. You better not die on me. Well, you seem to have the advantage of no one can see you. Or so it seems. I don't accidentally hit you. Oh, chain mail! Oh, look at all that. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay, doggy. Woofy. 
Ooh, I hear a skeleton. Um, this is more of that coarse dirt. But the sun is setting. I've got four pieces of meat left. I think now would be a wise time for me to turn around. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Oh no. I'm going to turn around as soon as I find my dog. Doggy! Let's run this way. Away from the lava. There's lots of lava back there. Doggy! Oh no. No, 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 no. Dog! I need wolves for the hippo. The head of the hippo is meant to be filled with wolves, and why am I meant to do this without... Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh no. Wolfie. I'm, I'm grieving and I'm intrigued by this formation. Huh. Well, yeah. Anyway, I found tons of horses, so I have to come back with some some rope and some saddles. Try those guys out, but they look pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know, I haven't ridden them, but they look nice. Ah, oh, it's a creeper. Where are you, doggy? What what happened? Don't tell me you fell in lava. <gasps> you might have. No doggy. What are you doing there? Why? Okay, that was weird. I think you might be glitched out slightly because he isn't meant to just stand there. Anyway, this is a. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> Did you just see what I just saw? I saw a. Okay, Wolfie, you're, you're glitching out, so I'm going to have to make you sit outside. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'm going to have to make you sit outside, because there's TNT down here. I don't want to accidentally blow you up. Um, oh, where is he? This is concerning. There you are. Okay, I'm going to make you sit down here, in case I blow up in this. Okay, this is... Pull up the F3 in case I die. There we go. It's not actually too far from spawn, this thing. Okay, so as we all know, and if you don't... Oh, it's, oh that's right, it changed from wool to stained clay. Okay, so... First rule, block up doorways. All the doorways. That you could possibly imagine. The reason for this is things are going to start dropping on you. And if you can stop things from dropping on you, that'd be great. There we go. Let's put some light down. So, first things first, let's collect this stained clay. Why not? Nothing wrong with a little bit of stained clay. We're going to be making it for the um, cyan stuff soon. <gasps> and that's the pressure plate down there. That's what you don't want to accidentally trigger. I will blow up the chests and then everything inside the chests. But because it's stone, blocks don't trigger it, so it's okay. It's okay, guys. Okay, now let's dig down. And break that. Let go of that TNT. Look at it all. Beautiful. Oh no, I have a form of inventory. Um, I don't need a stone pressure plate. I do want that. I do want that TNT though. <gasps> Emerald! Okay, let's put rotting slash away. Actually, I wouldn't mind some bones for dogs. Ooh, diamonds! Oh. Um. Uh. <laughs> it's a difficult choice. I don't. I'm not good at letting go of things. Uh. Stain clay. I'm gonna put you right there. Because I don't necessarily need you. Um. And then I guess I could get rid of the sand. And uh, get rid of the stupid boat, which isn't even working for me. Okay, is that... Is that everything? Some more bones. Ah, that's beautiful. And that's everything. So now... I want to... Throw you, throw you. I want to get out of this place. So to do that... One must climb to great heights. Heights. And smooth stone. And yeah, that's about that's about good. Okay. 
acacia wood, acacia saplings, and let's go for this. Okay, well, I also saw a village over here, so we can go and try to protect the village from all the zombies that will probably be attacking it. Hello, creeper. What? It's been a while since I've been in the desert. Oh, stop running away. Because most of my Minecraft has been the A-Team. And I don't think I ever showed desert on screen. Because I never... I went there once, I think. Looking for Coleman. I mean, the coal man. Oh, almost gave away his name. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've been to a desert. And that's a creeper right there. Let's, let's be super unsafe. Dog. Doggy dog. You really need to... Um, you know, stay close. Okay, so we've got some. We've got an armored zombie here. Let's kill him. Let's kill this man. You killing him? Oh, that was. Uh oh. <laughs> He's running away. Okay, well, you just took most of my food. I'm going to starve to death. Wait, take all my food. Yeah, okay. The reason for this is there should be carrots here, and that's why I need to start a pig farm. And carrots are perfect just to eat as they are. So I'm going to eat carrots for the rest of this journey. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No. Leave my villagers alone. You scared, Skelly? Okay. Hey, get out of here. Gosh darn it. So many zombies. There's just two guys in here. Got a Fletcher. Suck. Got a Fisherman. Wait. You suck. Both of you guys suck. But. I'll keep you alive. Yep, that's how you keep villagers alive, you just lock them up. Okay, this. Not good. Maybe good, maybe good. I'll lock you up, because you're three guys. A tiny little hut. Uh, actually. I'll make sure to light this up so that they don't spawn in there. Which is entirely possible. Because zombies suck like that. If there's any darkness, zombies will spawn to kill the villagers. Cause you know how they hate them villagers. Anyone in here? No. No one's stupid enough to. Good. Good, good, good. I think everyone's locked up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's safe up there, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This guy. Oh my goodness. Let's go away, zombies. Let's just feed you up. Can I, can I feed you any? No, you're good. Villager, if you come out, you're gonna die. <laughs> I hope you know that. Oh, that's the sound of rain. So. That's, that's, that's nice. Virgin, how are you? A farmer? Oh, I'm gonna keep you alive for sure. I like the sounds of you, farmer. Let's cover you with some mossy stone because I love you. Okay, guys, well, I'm gonna meet back with you guys back at home and probably go and pick up a couple more dogs on the way. So, uh, I think it's this way. I'll see you there. Hold on, just, just quickly. These are donkeys. I will. I've never found a donkey in Minecraft before, so I want I want this location saved because I wouldn't mind a donkey myself. They're great. They carry chests for you. Well, it seems as though we've stumbled across another village. This is fantastic. I like this part of the world. Can't believe I missed it on the first journey because we're pretty close to home. I mean, like like a couple hundred blocks out in each direction. Um, do we have potatoes? I think we have potatoes, but 
but just in case, let's uh, throw down. Ah, we already have pumpkins. Let's throw down pumpkins. Get some potatoes. You are almost dead. This guy keeps not following me and almost drowning. Uh, there is something seriously wrong with him. The sooner I can get him home and away from every danger in the world, the better. <gasps> dangerous like that. <coughs> oh, that was dangerous. Uh, so recently, not too long ago, they made it so that cobblestone generates underneath the gravel, I believe. Yes, so it doesn't just fall down into pits of death like that. Nice, no stands above. So these guys will probably die because they're not all in their houses and whatnot. So, you know, oh my goodness, I love them. Wait, are you, are you the name tag guys? Is that cleric? Is that a name tag, guys? You guys are safe. Are there good guys in here? And then it doesn't matter because you can just breed them from zombies. You always butchers. Ah! You're surrounded by butchers. Get out of here. Liberian! <gasps> no, 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 no. Come back here. I need you. You just stay. Oh well, I, sp I suppose I should give you a light. No, well, okay. And now uh, let's just cover you, like so. Zombies can't get you if you're underground. Okay. Well, I showed off my coordinates earlier, so I can find places. Where are you? Leather wa worker. I want leather pants. Where are you? <gasps> you caught some cows. That's that's actually amazing. Okay, well, I'm going to continue on home. I don't actually know exactly where home is, but if I get lost, I can always look at the first video of the series, because I know I pulled up the coordinates. Anyway, I'll see you there. Guys, I think this is another village. I, I, I couldn't quite find my way home. I haven't looked at the coordinates yet, but I might have to end up the episode here. This has been a lot of village finding, and that's a rabbit. Um, It's been good, you know? You're a fisherman. Yeah, I'll block you off, I guess. Uh, you know, it's been great. Sadly, I lost my dog. He just stopped following me. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, well, but I'm sure I'll find other ones in the future. But for now, let's see what they have in here. Nothing I can use but some iron, which is nice. Um, you guys, why aren't you breaking down the door? Why aren't you breaking it down? I'm not complaining, I'm just wondering. Okay, see what I got in here. Librarian, clerk, mm, gold for emeralds. Best trade. Okay. I'm going to lock you guys up too. Look out. Get out, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Yep, you're out inside. Yeah, that's right. Anyone in here? Weaponsmith? Cloak, are you also gold? Also gold. I gotta say, villages seem to be a lot less random with the trades. They, they seem to all be the same. But yeah, I'm gonna end up here in this random village. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, next episode, I will start back at home. Um, Unless I find another village on the way. In which case I'll start in another village. But hopefully back home. Because three villages is quite enough. I don't even know the point of villages. You can just get make your own villages from zombies. Anyway. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.